Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cross, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, bring a video into Blender. And I'm not talking about the, the video sequence editor, I'm talking about uh, hypothetically let's say you have a scene, and in that scene um, your character is watching a TV or something like that, or, or you have just like a TV playing in the background. I'm going to show you how to bring a video into Blender that will actually play so once you render it, you have your, your rendering, and then you have that video playing in the background. Uh, so let me just go ahead and open this. And it's real simple. It doesn't take long at all. Uh, you are going to need the images as planes add-on, though, which is uh, it's in Blender by default. You just have to enable it. Uh, so you open up a new scene. Let's get rid of the default cube. X to delete. And then you want to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and type in Images and it'll say import images as planes. Uh, this will be unchecked, uh, but I'm, you know, I had it checked uh, for the purposes of recording this. Uh, so yeah, uh, yours will be unchecked, just hit that little box and then close that out. Then what you wanna do is shift A, go to image, images as planes, and you're going to want to find your video project. Um, mine is actually an end screen from my YouTube channel, which you'll see at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, so you click on that, and right away, if you go into rendered view, um, my video starts off as just a black screen. So let me show you something. So you'll notice that uh, it is playing, and that's that's really if you want to just do the basics, that's really all you have to do is uh, just import the video, and the settings will automatically be set up to where it plays, and you can see that it's moving as I do that. Uh, so you could, you could render this and it would render into a full video. However, this is not the true color of the uh, the video. It is like a blue, but this is kind of a muted version of the colors. And the reason for that is if you open up a new window and go to the shader editor or the node editor, as old school uh, Blender users know it, when you bring in the video it does all this wonky kind of crap. Like it's got the video file here, so it's got the video file here, and then it feeds it into a diffuse texture with a transparent, into a mix shader, and then to the output, okay? You don't need any of these. So just uh, click and drag over those, hit delete, you'll see the video disappear. Uh, but this is the only thing that you need to um, get the actual color of the video, is an emission shader. Uh, where is it? There we go. And this will actually provide the right coloring and lighting for the video. You'll see that it, it's a little bit more vibrant, and this is actually what the video looks like. Um, like th this is this is how when I made it, that's the coloring and the and the brightness of that effect there. So yeah, this is all you need. You need the video file. You need an emission shader at a strength of one. Uh, if you set it to anything higher, it'll actually start to emit light, which is I mean I guess depending on if you're doing like a dark scene and you want the TV to emit light, uh, that would be a little bit more realistic. But if it's just a well lit scene then a strength of one will provide the true color of the video in question. So yeah, just the video file. Standard um, like settings are fine. Uh, my video is actually 300 frames, so you would want to change your end frame to 300. Obviously, if your scene is like a character walking into a room and he turns on the TV, you don't want the video to start playing until the frame where he turns on the TV. So you would set the start frame there, and then you would set the end frame to whenever the video ends, or, uh, or you know, however you needed to do that. Uh, but outside of changing this, the regular settings here for whatever video you import are fine, and then just feed it through the emission shader with a strength of 1, and into the surface, and voila. And then if you were to render this, I'm not going to because it would take my computer kind of long to do it, but if you were to render this, the entire video would play out. And this is about 10 seconds of animation because I uh, built it at 30 frames per second. Uh, so yeah, it would take up the 10 second animation and then you would have your video. And you could model like a TV or something around this. Like if you wanted to do like a flat screen, just model the TV around that. And then just have the image play your video. But yeah guys, just a little quick tip there for you. I hope that helped. Uh, if you did find the video helpful, go ahead and drop a like. Help other people find it. Uh, and if you know anybody that uses Blender, go ahead and share the video with them as well. That way they could learn this neat little trick. 
Uh, if you want to, go ahead and hit the sub button so that you'll be, and the little bell. That way you'll be uh, notified for when I drop future videos. Other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.